We're upgrading, boys. New Cat 6 technology. That's right, wired internet. Screw the Wi Fi. Hey guys, welcome into my series of videos on how I'm going about installing a security system. Do you see these two TVs up here? Well, I'd like those to display my cameras surrounding the RV. Now, the first part of this is going to be wiring Ethernet cable throughout my RV, and that's what these videos are showing. After going through this, uh, fishing the wire through, this is a real pain in the ass. I think instead of my original plan was to route um, like six of those Cat 6s up into the front because I, I'm going to put a cam up there, a cam over there, a cam under the uh, under the, where the, the closet is. So that's the front of the fifth wheel. And, uh, and then I have to put one up here in the door. So I'm just going to run one because this is Cat 6. It can The bandwidth is crazy on it. I, I don't even know. It's over a gig. Uh, and that could handle the cameras no problem. Even the 8K camera that I got, or sorry, 4K camera that I got. Yeah, they have these new 8 megapixel cameras. Here's the new uh, 4K Ultra HD Armcrest camera that I got. It's just a dome camera uh, mounted to the side of the RV. And uh, the wire's going to go through the walls. Um, yeah, this is 4K. This is crazy. Uh, this is considered 8 megapixels. These are somewhat new to the market. Uh, this was about $190. Um, the, the benefit of this is that you can really zoom into an image and get a lot of detail, like a license plate, or be able to identify someone's face. Um, whereas like these 1080p cameras or even 720p, um, you, you lack a lot of detail. This is, wow, this thing is crazy. The only thing is I'm probably going to have to upgrade my computer. That's the little computer that I'm using. It's a Zotac Z-Box. It's got an i7 processor, fifth generation in there, but uh, it's not going to be able to, to crunch all that video. So I'm going to have to use the Blue Iris direct to disk option so it doesn't use as much CPU. But yeah, it's with a 4K camera and then I've also got a couple others like that. It's just going to be a crazy amount of bandwidth and I hope that uh, it can handle it. If not, I'll probably just set the cameras to a lower resolution, so up to 2K video at 30 frames per second, or 4K at 15 frames per second. So, yeah, you don't really get a lot of frames per second when you're doing security systems. I think 10 frames per second is about the average, so I might even have to set that down to 5 frames per second, or I can just lower the, uh, <clears throat> the resolution and go down to, like, 1080p for right now until I upgrade my computer, because, man, this, this project's starting to get a little bit expensive here. Here is the Cat 6 cable that I got. It's true cable. This was $130. Um, and uh, you can get Cat 6 cable that's a lot cheaper, but it's it's uh, aluminum clad copper. So they, it's just dipped in copper, you know? Uh, it's not true copper. This is. So whereas you can get that for like one third the price, you, this is $130. So um, anyway, uh, this can truly support high bandwidth um, stuff, so it gives me a lot of room to upgrade in the future. So yeah, it's really thick, it's got a lot of shielding in it. This isn't considered shielded uh, Cat 6, which I think costs more. Um, the difference between the shielded and the non-shielded is that you're not supposed to run the unshielded like this near electrical lines for, because it'll cause interference. I was originally going to run uh, Cat 6 cables for each one of the cameras, but I think I'm just going to feed one distribution Cat 6 up here and then run a switch um, and with a PoE, uh, a PoE switch so it provides power to all the cameras. And um, I think that's just a lot easier than running six different cables. Just run one right here. And then because I need a PoE switch anyways, uh, I might as well just put it right here and actually you know what's really cool about this RV is that you see these steps right here um, th these front plates just have four screws and they actually come out <laughs> and then you can access uh, behind them so I can actually put my network gear under the stairs I think that would be kind of cool and I actually put um, some plastic uh, trash bags on the back side of these because there was like a, a vent uh, in this in the winter we were losing heat I could because that connects to the cargo bay area down there so um, I don't know if that's by design I, I guess it is because you don't want it to freeze down there uh, during the winter but it was causing a draft so anyway I just put uh, some plastic bags right there and uh, I always thought it'd be really cool to have some illuminated uh, LEDs under there at night and uh, that's a project that I still want to do but um, yeah for right now I've got this battery man I love this thing I got this uh, I don't know where I got this, but I think it's just off Amazon, but, um, like everything, 
is a motion detection uh, LED light, and um, it does a great job. It's just got one little small LED in there, but it illuminates the stairs in the total darkness, and this is crucial, <laughs> man. These stairs are pretty uh, steep, a steep uh, incline, and Tiffany, like, is always falling off these stairs, so it's good that we have a light to, like, sort of illuminate it and make it a little bit safer. Hey, guys, this isn't the last in the series, so stay tuned to get notified of the next part in the series click subscribe and also click that little ding 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 bell and that way you get a notification when the next part comes out stay tuned